mom was kind of used to cooking for a really big family, and I guess she wanted to share just the comfort of the food that it offered everybody that tasted it. Mona's Roti started in 1983, and that was back in Trinidad, where the original location first opened up in South Trinidad, Marabella. It started off with my mom, her sisters, uh, some of my cousins and aunts as well. And now here in Canada, it still is a family business. My mom is still very much involved. Even at 70 plus, she's still in here cooking every, like not every day, but as much as she can and trying to run things and make sure that everything is still running the way it's supposed to. Um, myself, I have been involved in it since day one. My brother, he is very involved that and on a back end side of it. My sister as well. We are all very much involved. All of the dishes mo that we do offer here at Mona's Roti, they are the typical dishes that you would eat for lunch or dinner in the Caribbean or if you were to visit somebody's house uh, just for an occasion, right? So it does bring back a lot of memories for a lot of people. It brings back a lot of security. It brings back, a, like it's a, like an anchor that brings you back to home. I believe that the location chooses you. I think we got very lucky in being able to be in the heart of Scarborough. We have amazing people around us. I think that everyone that comes in here, they're very supportive. I can't really classify groups or anything because we serve a very well diverse community here. Anywhere I go or any of the staff go, you know, people say, hey, you're from Mona's, you know, so uh, we are quite well known and appreciated, I believe. We are very fortunate in our setup because we are takeout and um, the way that we are set up, it, it's very protective for customers as well as our employees. It's a lot easier now, I think, you know, that's one of the good things that came out of the COVID is that our ordering system is now a lot more efficient and easier. We're able to get customers out a lot faster. We uh, have an online ordering available as well. So you can pre-order and come and pick up. That way you don't have to wait in a line. So we're trying to make all these different opportunities available for customers to be able to get in here without having to do the wait. The only struggles that you we probably encountered would be the 30% commission that the delivery platforms take away from us. That would be the best thing to deal with first and foremost because after you take the 30% from us and then we have to pay for our building, our employees, our supplies, whatnot, we end up with zero or maybe one dollar. It's really not worth it. You are a prisoner of these platforms. You kind of have no choice because this is what the norm is. You want to order delivery and it's out there. If you go and uh, Google delivery for, and let's just say that this restaurant has their own delivery service, that would not be the first thing to pop up. The first thing to pop up would be Skip, Uber, or DoorDash, even though this business has their own delivery service. And that is what's kind of killing it as well, right? So a lot of the the deliveries are directed through them regardless of if there is an alternative way of getting to them. So I believe that these platforms are really not for the restaurant's existence. That platform is there for them to exist and for the customers to get their food, but it does not do anything for the restaurant themselves to prosper and to survive. I think Mona is a staple. I think Mona is a place to go for comfort. It just brings you a satisfaction that you have done this for everyone that is coming in and you are satisfying them and you are making them happy and you are filling a spot for them, whether it be hunger or whether it be for comfort or to bring back memories or whatever it is. You, you know, I'm just happy that, that we can do that. And I know for me, that brings me joy. I know it brings my mom joy as well to be able to do that.
Uh, this is a picture of Mona and myself. And this is Mona and Cyrus, my mom and dad. This was just for a photo shoot for food. This was for a story that we were doing as well. And then we got this one. This one was 2007. These are the kids. That is Risa, Sasha, and myself, Melissa. We actually speak every day. I don't think typical families do that. Uh, we talk to our parents every day. We talk to each other every day. And that's us. <laughs>